Let's go, stretch, stretch, stretch. Yeah, I think I probably got a little overzealous yesterday. Huh? No, you mic'd up. <laughs> That's why he's right there. So, so, so we working today. We working today. My style of coaching, I believe, is uh, more, I'm more of a teacher. I'm not a yeller or a screamer. I'm not one of those guys. Uh, one thing about me, I never try to be some, someone I'm not. Make, make the defender believe that you're coming off the football. I think you have to be authentic in what you do, and I pride myself on that. So I, I try to coach my guys through, through the situations, through the scenarios, teach them through it, talk them through it. Um, and I think I have a unique perspective being that I played the position. Uh, so I understand what they're seeing and what they're thinking at times, but I also understand from the coaching side what needs to be done. So that, that allows me to uh, teach and educate the guys. t Rob, no! <laughs> he got you! It's the Cyhawk Trophy. It's, it's the first trophy game of the year for, for both schools. And, you know, old Cyhawk, he's been perched inside the Iowa Trophy case since 2015. The Hawkeyes have won five in a row over the Cyclones, six of the last seven and nine of the last 12. The single biggest thing is make them earn anything that they get. Anything they get, make them work, make them earn it. And then it gets down to a couple things, right? Playing with relentless effort out there. We're physical, we're tough, and we play team football. All right? That's the formula. Everybody together, let's get our ass going. Here we go! Well, whether in Ames today or Iowa City, it's always a, a colorful, loud, raucous scene. And why wouldn't it be with the two in-state rivals hitting the field at the same time? Hey, Tom, let's go! So here we go, the next chapter of Iowa, Iowa State. Can the Hawkeyes make it six wins in a row? The Heartland is brought to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. You may think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. And Taylor gets into a booming kick, a booming punt. Gets it to 10 and is down inside the 10 at the seven yard line. That's what he does. That was in the air at least 75 yards. He sent a receiver in motion right to left. Pretty good protection. Now throws to the underneath man, deflected and nearly behind the line of scrimmage, which would have been a touchdown. Here's Purdy. Reese Hall in the back, fakes it to him, rolls out right. He's going for the home run down the middle of the field, single coverage. And is it intercepted? It looks like it is. Looks like Matt Hankins took it away from Xavier Hutchison. One number eight on the other, and the Hawks have the ball back at midfield. Ball was underthrown. Hankins right on his hip. Spencer backs away from center. They run a delayed blitz. He gets rid of it, caught. Pass was a little high, but a great job. Jackson Ritter. Jackson Ritter. Hawks are at the Iowa State 38. Petrus with a deep drop. Throws it left. Caught on another great catch by Luke Lachey. At the 20-yard uh, line of Iowa State, another terrific catch. Petrus is certainly throwing it where the defense can't get to it. And the Hawkeyes are. They're making great efforts. Ritter and now Lachey. Diamond formation tight. They flip it out that way to Goodson. He's going to get the first down inside the 10 to the 9. Trace in motion from the slot left. Now he reverses back to the short side of the field. They run Goodson to the wide side. He's across the goal line. No flags. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Tyler Goodson. Well blocked. I'm talking about we've had trouble getting this blocking scheme down, but this one cleared out and Potterbaum leading on that safety, put him in the end zone. Oh. Keep coming. Newell, the center, will snap it to Purdy. Straight back to pass. Good protection. And a pass is caught and then dropped. Good job there by Justin Jacobs, the linebacker. He may have punched it out of there. 
Petrus in the gun. Straight back to pass. Rushed as he lets it go. Caught by Laporta. Up across the 40. First down Iowa. Petrus took the shot on a delayed blitz. And Laporta took a heck of a hit. He splits wide left. Uh, Tracy's in the slot. Hawks are going to run it. Ivory Kelly on a great cutback. Gets maybe. To, oh, the ball's out. The ball is out. He, they're going to call him down, thankfully, after a gain of nine. 26-yard line with a minute eight to play first half. Petrus is going to throw it. Lobs it to the end zone. It is caught. Is it caught? Touchdown! <laughs> Touchdown, Iowa, by Charlie Jones. What a throw. What a throw. And what a catch. He put it right underneath the, uh, the crossbar at the goalpost. Jones got his fingertips on it and then went to the ground and came up with the football as he... Uh, Buried it against his navel, and the official waited till he came up with the ball to make sure he still had control. And the Hawkeyes have put together back-to-back -back touchdown drives and lead it 13 to three, ending the point after try. The snap out of the gun. Purdy with good protection. Throws over the middle. It is caught and running in open space is. No, that's not Hutchison. He's knocked out of bounds at the three-yard line. Darren Wilson, Jr. Just too much time to wait for a receiver to clear. Yeah. Iowa leading Iowa State 14-3. to Here's a snap. They give it to Hall. He burrows toward that goal line, and he is over for a touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa State. Halftime, Iowa 14, Iowa State 10. And there's a whole lot of football left. The Heartland is brought to you by Hy-Vee, the official grocery partner of Iowa Hawkeye football. Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. And by the University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. Cyclones get the ball with the momentum to start the second half. The Iowa defense needs to get a stop, get the ball back, and wrestle some of that big mo back Iowa's way. Purdy. Now puts the ball down. Now he throws it deep, and it is incomplete. Right to the goal line. Great coverage by Matt Hankins again. Uh, here's Purdy with uh, Jarrell Brock in the backfield. Purdy is sacked. He tried to run a quarterback draw. The Hawkeyes weren't buying it. Yahweh Black splits out to left end. As the Hawks get fresh bodies in there, he's sacked now. Slam to the ground. De Deontay Craig, another one of those gifted young defensive linemen. Let's see if the Hawks can get him again. First and 10 at the Iowa State 6 as Purdy awaits the snap. They're going to run straight ahead with Hall. Get him down. Oh, the ball's out. The ball's out. Iowa picks it up. Touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Jack Campbell. A little Campbell soup in the end zone, and the Hawks get the big turnover, their second of the day. Jacobs. The young sophomore from Englewood, Ohio, punched the ball out, and Jack Campbell, like an all-star shortstop, picked up the ground ball and raced into the end zone for the touchdown. Hey, boy. Hey. Yeah. We gotta go again. We gotta go again. Yeah. Cyclones have four wideouts, three by one. Purdy dumps it over the middle. It's picked off, intercepted right through the arms of the intended receiver, and Merry Christmas, Seth Benson. <laughs> My goodness. Back-to-back -back turnovers caused by the Iowa defense, although the receiver, who was just running, he was the underneath guy, just running a simple five-yard route, and the ball went right through his mitts. Cyclones are rushing everybody. Here comes the snap. Spot is down. Kick is on the way. It's certainly long enough, and it is good. He tucked it in the right upright. Caleb Shudak. Purdy throws to the sideline. It's deflected at the line of scrimmage and intercepted. And running the other way is Matt Hankins. He's got two on the day. Still on his feet. 30-25. 20 yard line of Iowa State. First and 10 Hawkeyes. My goodness, this defense has come to oh, play. What a showing. What a showing. So Shudak, who's been big all day with his kickoffs, his touchbacks, and now a chance for another field goal to put the Hawks up 17. And this one is easy, like an extra point. 27 to 17 win in the heat here, the wilting heat this afternoon at Jack Trice Stadium in Ames. So one thing for sure, Eddie, these kids, both sides, left it out there. And whether it's easy or difficult 
or, or medium range difficult. A win is a win is a win. 27 17. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Extreme, powered by Mediacom, the internet preferred by Hawk fans. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless and the official wireless provider of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Second and short, here comes Betts trying on the left side. Has the first down, cuts it back to the middle, 35, still on his feet, 40, 45, 47 yard line, dropped at the 48 of Iowa, big gainer of close to 20 for Liddell. Actually, uh, I had a high school teammate by the name of Lexi Rodopoulos who committed to University of Iowa, I think, when I was a sophomore and he was a senior. So I was familiar with the Iowa football program. Larry Holton was the running backs coach. So Coach Holton and Coach Fry were the ones that recruited me. He gets it on the sprint draw, has the first down as he crosses the 45, still going across midfield to the 48-yard line of Indiana. He was stopped two or three times. You know, we had some, some rough years. I think when I first got here, you know, Iowa was always a, pretty much a top 25 program, trying to, you know, pretty much going to bowls a lot of the time. So for us to kind of return back to what I considered normalcy was a good feeling. You always want to leave a place in, in a good position when you leave. So that, that felt good. That was a highlight for me. A gaping hole for Liddell Betts. I would say my nine-year career was uh, unique. You know, not many people, I think, in life get to live out their, their childhood dreams, and I was fortunate enough to do so. So making it to the NFL, it was, it, it was fun. Uh, there was definitely ups and downs in terms of wins and losses, uh, probably more losses in Washington than, than, I, than I would like to have. But it was a fun time. Got a chance to play for quite a few coaches, especially Coach Gibbs, who's a Hall of Fame coach, and then got a chance to uh, finish my career down in New Orleans the year after they went to the Super Bowl and play alongside guys like Drew Brees and play under uh, Sean Payton as a head coach. So it was, it was a fun time, no complaints, uh, and, and I had a great time. Zahut. Make sure you press me, make sure you press me. You hear me, 20? You're making that cut way too deep in the backfield. There we go. Get all the way to me, get all the way to me. So how did I end up with the offer here in Iowa? Well, I was starting to consider um, whether I wanted to move up uh, in coaching it, whether it be college or pros. I had kind of toyed with the idea in my head over the years and never really settled, settled on an answer. And so one of the people I reached out to was Coach Ferentz, which is actually back in January of this year, 2021. And he and I had a conversation, not even about coaching here, but just coaching in general. Uh, I figured what better way to get an, uh, get an insight is than talking to someone that's been doing it for 22 years, you know, the pros and cons. So he and I had a conversation for 30 minutes just about the pros and cons of coaching. Um, and that was really it. Nothing about this job at the time had even come up because there was no job here to be had. So fast forward a couple months later, I find out that the running backs coach leaves and the offensive uh, line coach leaves. So I thought to myself and I, and I talked to my wife about it, you know, should I, should I really throw my name in the hat? And I did. So I, I threw my name in the hat and, and uh, submitted my application, my resume and got a call back and went through the whole interview process and you know, got a chance to come in front of the coaching staff and, and show them that I know what I'm doing and you know, do my presentation. And they called me back and said I got the job. So it was, it was kind of uh, surreal how it all happened. It happened pretty quickly. I told y'all we were way ahead of schedule. Let me get the bags, please. Bags, 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 bags. My family's amazing, you know. Um, they're, they're my pride and joy. Like you said, I have five girls, uh, one boy. Uh, I like to call it organized chaos sometimes in the house, but it's, it's a great thing. It's a, you know, a lot, of, a lot of hustle and bustle, a lot of moving parts, and my wife plays a huge role in that, especially with me coaching being gone a lot. My oldest is 18, and then my, the younger ones with my wife are ages nine to three, so there's a lot going on in our household. <laughs> right arm carry, stiff arm, stiff arm, split in the back. Go. Good. Go. Good. Using that off arm. Go. After being a player here and then getting a chance Go. to come back, I never imagined coming back to Iowa. I, you know, when I left, I never thought I'd be back in Iowa City. Uh, and that's not a knock against Iowa City. I just, you know, I went to school here and never had any visions of ever moving back. 
but life has a funny way of working out that way, you know, um, uh, kind of coming full circle, uh, got into coaching down in South Florida, and then this job came open and here I am. So it feels good to be back, you know, it kind of feels like I'm back home where it all started. A lot of familiar faces, familiar people, familiar places, so it, it's a good feeling being back. And the Hawks are going to run it out, hopefully. Here's Tyler Goodson. Breaks free. He's in midfield. He cuts to the near sideline. Heading that way. Nobody going to catch him. 20, 15, 10, 5, goal line. Touchdown! So Tyler Goodson, I would describe him as multidimensional. Uh, he's a guy that doesn't really have to come off the field in any type of situation. He can run, catch, and block. Iowa has gone back to its starting offensive line. Big hole, running for a first down, and then some is Ivory Kelly Martin. Ivory Kelly Martin, I would describe as savvy. He's got the uh, veteran presence. He's the oldest uh, guy in the room. He's had a lot of playing experience, so he brings that calm, uh, mature uh, playing style to the room. Williams again running left, cutting it back to the right, pinballing off a couple of defenders. Look at him push the pile. Gavin, I would, I would say reliable, very reliable. Um, he's an assignment, alignment, effort guy. You know, usually is always in the right spot always knows what's to, what to do, and he's going to give you effort. Go! Go! The Heartland is brought to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. You may think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. And by Atletico Physical Therapy. It all starts here. Um, just get to the top of the route, gave him a little, little head fake, and uh, Spence threw a great ball, put it in a spot where really uh, only I could go make a play on it. Um, so it, it was it was a good uh, good play for us, a uh, good time in the game. At first I was split out wide, uh, but I saw number 43 on the outside, and uh, we, we knew coming into the game that when he was out there, he wasn't really a receiving threat. So I knew he was coming back in, he motioned back inside, um, came inside with him. And then from there, it was pretty much just playing football. Uh, the snap went. Um, the, the run initially was going away from me, but uh, I, I knew I had contain on my side. Like I can't overcommit because if it cuts my way, uh, I can't let it get outside of me. And the run happened to come, come right back to me. So I just took on the block, got, got off of it, just made the tackle. And I mean, I didn't even know it was a fumble at first. Scratching and clawing and the ball came out and I was just the one lucky enough to to get the opportunity to scoop that thing up and, and take it into the end zone. So um, that's a memory. Being, as being, a, being an Iowa kid, that's a memory that's going to last with me forever. Uh, second interception, got to give credit to Joe Evans. You know, he tipped it. And, you know, I was opening up, reading the quarterback. It got tipped and just broke on the ball. I was able to make the play. Got to give all glory to God for just the success that I had this past game and looking for more, hopefully. Yeah, right now, obviously, oh, that the rankings came out, and um, just just remembering to stay humble, and just continuing to look at uh, taking it one week at a time, just taking it um, to Kent State right now, and just giving our full attention uh, to them. Uh, they're a very talented team. They got a high-powered offense and a great quarterback, so uh, that's going to be a challenge. But just continuing to improve it uh, every week's the big challenge Coach Ferentz has thrown at us. So. Uh, we just need to continue to do that, and good things are going to happen. This has been a presentation from Learfield.